Fort Worth, live at 4233 Wilshire Drive. Um, the last time that I spoke to you guys was so well received that um, I brought friends and, um, and an unlikely ally in the front row. Um, I want to thank three people because after I spoke last time, um, a lot of people came up to me afterwards and were very interested in this topic. And all the people that signed that petition that you all saw um, were very interested in the topic. The first person is Larry Hansen. Um, I've been at Blue Lines. Would you, would you excuse me, just me. Mr. Mr. Conkman, please don't leave. I'd like to speak to you. Please don't leave. Um, Mr. Hansen, uh, let me know that the city does have an active plan for every road widening project um, will include bike lanes. The next one on, on the plan uh, is Jerry Jones. And when I started telling people that, they get all excited. So um, I'll talk more about that later. But the, the second person is Samantha Matthews. Uh, she introduced me to, um, uh, it's called the Georgia Bike Sense Guide for Cyclists and Motors. And the idea, one thing I spoke about last time was not just building up infrastructure in Valdosta, but also educating motorists and cyclists. And so she hooked me up with the Georgia Department of Transportation. And at our last drive, uh, we gave out about 45 of these. And the last person is uh, the city engineer, uh, Patrick Collins, who um, is working with me right now um, to try to create a, a public forum that will allow um, interested people like this group or anyone in the community to uh, open up a dialogue about those things that you mentioned, um, like the city's plans um, or the project list that, that is already, um, has already been developed. So that's one plan that we have uh, that deals with education, um, trying to get the word out about what the city is doing. Because I believe, um, you know, I was looking through the transportation master plan again, um, and I am saying it's a great plan. And people, a lot of the people that I ride with and a lot of the people in the community don't know what the city's plans are. And so this forum that he and I are talking about doing is, is a way to get the word out about what the city is doing. Um, the second, second goal that I had um, was to try to, rather than come up here and be a wine student, I wanted to give you guys a concrete goal that we can work towards. And um, when we were going around trying to get this petition signed, one of the things that I heard a lot was there's nowhere to like lock up a bike downtown. There are two spots uh, in the Toon Street parking lot near the Blue Pub um, that I think could, could park about five bikes each. At the last critical mass ride, um, which we hold at the last Friday of every month, there were, the Valdosta Daily Times noted, about 40 cyclists. So um, it kind of demonstrates that cycling as a hobby, as a form of exercise, is outpacing um, the city's implementation of what the transportation master plan calls um, cycling amenities. Um, so we're asking if you might consider implementing um, some bike racks. And that was kind of the idea of, of parking out front so that everyone could see. Uh, we have about 10 or 12 bikes locked to the uh, steps of the city hall because there's nowhere else to lock. Um, so, so that's our request. Uh, if you guys would consider bike racks, they're about, uh, I looked on Amazon, they have them ranging from about $75 to $200. Um, and, and one rack could hold about five bikes. If you take that 40 number, we need about uh, eight of them or maybe more, and place them throughout downtown as a start um, to show in a concrete way that the city is thinking about cycles uh, and working towards helping us. Thank you. Thank you.